Hey guys, welcome back to Hey It's a Good Life. My name is Natalie and welcome back to, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully that is not too loud. Hey guys, Natalie here and welcome back to Hey It's a Good Life. If you guys caught my last video all about our garage renovation, you know that we recently renovated our garage and we officially have an engine to our homestead out here. Now in that video, I briefly said, and by the way, I think I'm gonna keep a place for my art things. Kind of alluding to the fact that I'm gonna share with you guys more of my art this year and to kind of take you guys along for the ride of that now that I have like a dedicated space to do art. Now, a lot of you guys had questions about the worms that are behind me and wanting to know about that system and how we got that up and running and cost and all that stuff. So you would think I would make a video about worms, but I'm not. I'm making a video about art instead because that makes sense for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> All jokes aside, I do have all my art supplies out here now and today is Valentine's Day and so I need to finish my Valentine's Day project first before I make a video on worms. So that's what we're gonna do. I have been wanting to paint this painting for my husband for some time. He grew up loving Spongebob and has always wanted a bold and brash painting and for years I said, heck to the no. But you know what? Life's short. Let's paint him a bold and brash painting for Valentine's Day and what the heck, let's even call this a, a paint with me series. Now my last disclaimer before we get started is I almost did this entire video as Bob Ross. Told all my friends I was gonna do that, had a friend who even wrote an intro song for me and then I scrapped that idea because my art is really important to me. It's a very like crucial part of who I am and I didn't want to enter into any kind of art series like on the whim of a joke. But I will say that if you guys don't wanna see me dressed as Bob Ross doing maybe a Bob Ross painting, I will gladly do that. So just let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's paint us some bold and brash. So first things first, I just gotta set up my easel, which I made in like 10 minutes out of scrap wood because I don't have a standing easel. And again, I thought I was gonna be Bob Ross and Bob Ross uses a standing easel. So I just built this one. <laughs> please, please note the craftsmanship, the split wood. Please just, that is not how that should be. So, but you know what? We have an easel. I actually need to add a piece here before we get started. So let's do that and then we'll paint. What the heck is this thing? Welcome to my garage. Let's just turn it this way so you can't see my washer and dryer and it actually kind of looks like a studio. <laughs> this, that's better, okay. Now that I've got my scrap wood easel set up, time to get started. So if you've never seen Bold and Brash, here it is. This is outlined, I did it on a grid. It's really just time to lay the paint on. I will include a reference photo. Yeah, right there. I'll include a reference photo here if you've never heard of Bold and Brash from SpongeBob. I believe it's a painting Squidward does. I don't know, Tommy's really into it. He really wants one, so hopefully he likes the one that I'm gonna paint for him. Not really my color scheme or a favorite shape by any means, but you know, Tommy really wants his painting, so here goes nothing. So step one is complete. Now it's time to add some paints to our very fancy paper plate palette and get to painting. Et voila, the magic of television. So we've got our paints. You don't need this many colors to do this project. You could literally use yellow, blue, and red, and that would be plenty. We could talk more about colors, color theory, color wheel, values, all of that stuff another time for anybody who's interested. If you if you want to learn how to paint, I'd be happy to teach you. Um, but you know, with less than two hours before my husband gets home, it's time to just get the colors that I have on the canvas. Yes, my towel has cats on it. biggest paintbrush I could find and literally all I can hear in my head right now is Tim Gunn saying make it work people make it work make it work
Hello and welcome back to the joy of painting. Just kidding, that is not this program. This is try to paint something and let your camera die. Um, anyway, hopefully this video comes out because I keep losing battery and light, but we also had a crotchal incident which needed some repair and drying. So there's that, but onward we press. Um, this is the basics. We started with the background, which is sufficient for this painting. And then I went ahead and filled in with some turquoise and green. And then we did a little shading since I've seen you last, like a little shading with some dark blue. Now I'm just going to go back in and start to do the outline, which is looking like it's kind of like a, not quite black. It's probably like a mixture of blue and orange. Um, and then we're going to try and complete the crotchal repair. Um, and then I think we're going to be done. So wish me luck. That's a little bit better. Okay, the crotchal repair is complete. The background is pretty much done. We've got our outline, we've got some shading. Now it's time for the final touches. And we're gonna finish up the eyeball, do any remaining shading, and really finish out this line down here. Um, and I think we're gonna be good to go for a Valentine's Day gift. All right, we're so close and my battery's about to die again. Am I bleeding? It tastes blood. And just like that, by the powers of lots of batteries lost during the making of this video and TV magic, present to you Bold and Brash. Pretty close, pretty close to our reference image, I would say. I think that the reference image, his head is a little bit more like, like tilted back, but you see this and you know what it is. So it's time to sign it and call it good. And uh, hopefully Tommy likes his Valentine's Day present. Oh crap, Tommy's home. <laughs> Okay guys, it's time for the big reveal. I've wanted to paint him this painting for so many years and now <laughs> I'm gonna show it to him. I hope he likes it. Wish me luck. Happy Valentine's Day. No way. <laughs> Wow, that's so good. <laughs> that's so accurate. <laughs> I hope you filmed yourself doing this. I did. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks exactly like it. Oh. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna hang that up next to my desk. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's really good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, seriously, I love it so much. I'm super happy. Good. He likes it. Approved. <laughs> Approved. <laughs> what did you say? You liked my easel? Nice easel. <laughs>